This is the third of three videos where I'm talking about combo shapes, which of course is just my name for when you have more than one shape put together. So first video I talked about circles and triangles. Then I talked about circles, rectangles, and squares. And this video I'm talking about squares and squares. Now, especially in the first two videos, there's a bunch of other problem types. I wanted to give you what I consider to be the most common problem type in the video. But check out the book and work through these problems. These are usually fairly easy problems. Once you see the trick, and once you see the trick, it's hard to unsee it, which is a good thing. Now let's talk about this one. Um, we have a big square with an area of, area of the big is 16. Let's see if I can write a little straighter than that. Area of the big is 16. And these are the midpoints of the respective sides. Okay, I wanna mark that up. Remember, what I wanna do is get rid of my question. Anytime I have a diagram, anytime I'm drawing a diagram, I want to be able to throw this question away. And of course, I'm looking for the area of this guy, this little diamond, this little square in here. There's about 3,000 ways to solve this. Not really, but there are several. So first things first is let's find the, the uh, length of each side here, right? So if the area is equal to 16, an area of a square is side squared equals 16. That means each side is four, right? Or each little side here is two. Now there's a bunch of things I can do from here. One thing I could do is I could say, look, these triangles are all identical and I could just kind of make four little rectangles out of them. Four two by two, or excuse me, two two by two rectangles, right? This would be like if I put these two together, that's one rectangle, two rectangles. So I could say, well, it's going to be 16 minus 2 times 2 is 4. Now, two rectangles, two rectangles with an area of 4. So minus 8, well, that's 8. That's one way to do it. That's pretty simple. Second way to do it is say, well, look, um, how about I use the Pythagorean theorem? Okay, well, these are isosceles right triangles. Um, you know they're right triangles because it's a square. And you know they're isosceles because these lengths are all the same. So if you didn't, if you knew your angle-based special rights, it'd be 2 square root of 2. Or of course you could use the Pythagorean theorem on it and say 2 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared and so on and so forth. And then you would just say, well, let's find the area of that square. So that'd be 2 square root of 2 squared. Now you square both of these. Remember, you can't distribute squares into binomials, but this is just one term. Binomials separated by add, addition or subtraction. 2 squared is 4 times 2. Square root of 2 squared is 2, and that's 8. Okay, that's the second way to get there. Third way to get there is kind of like the first way we got there, which is using negative space, which is a great way to solve problems like that, especially if you have one of those odd area problems where you have like a, uh, like a bunch of rectangles smashed together. You can just treat it like one big rectangle and subtract out the stuff that's not there. Works here too. So I know these are two by two triangles. So area of a triangle is, it doesn't look much like a triangle, does it? Let's try that again. Is one half base times height. So one half, two times two. So one half, two times two is two. And then I have four of those. So I'm begin, I'm back to 16 minus 2 times 4 is 8, is 8 again. So three ways to do it right there. These aren't bad. And I will tell you a little secret before I get off here. I looked over like somebody's actually watching me. Um, if you have a, a setup, exact, it has to be exactly like this, so be very careful. Where it's the midpoint of each side, right? The area of the small right, square will always be half the area of the big square. It always will work like that as long as it's the midpoint of each side. So that's it on combo shapes. Make sure you're really solid on circle stuff and make sure that you check out the 3D geometry. You'll see at least one 3D geometry uh, question on almost every task.